Hello there and welcome to the first in the PowerPoint lessons. My name is Andrew Woods and I'll be your host and the aim of these three lessons is to get you up and running with PowerPoint. Um, first of all let's get straight in and have a look at the environment here. We have the big white box in the middle which is the slide. We have um, the slide sort of view over on the left hand side and this is how you can move your slides around and change the order of them which we'll get to later. Usual toolbars at the top, we'll come to those later too. And on the right hand side this slide layout pane and on here you've got lots of choices for different slides that you can use and we'll get to that later too. Alright, let's start then. We need to make a presentation so we need a topic. Well we'll do my favourite topic which is me. So let's go a title about me and um, I'm just doing what it says click to add a subtitle by Andrew Woods um, at this point I'm not worried about color schemes or font sizes or anything like that I'm just I'm just gonna get the information in as quickly as possible because we don't have a lot of time when we're at work and we need to do this quickly so there's the front cover next I need another slide several ways to do this we can go to insert new slide or we can press Control M or we can do what I do which is to click new slide over here straight away you can see that a couple of things have happened we've now got um, a second slide on this thing here the slide sorter so I could I could if I want move that around you see that's now in front of that one which is a bit silly so let's put it back where it is and we've got a new slide here and the slide has a different slide layout the title is at the top and then it's inviting you to add bullet points down the side and I'm happy with that so I'm going to stick with it click to add title second slide is going to be my family click to add some text um, my family consists of me and consists of my wife and there are some kids but they aren't important so it doesn't matter all right that's another slide done see how fast we're going through this okay let's add a new slide but this time I'm going to use a new a different slide layout because I want to use one that's got some places for some pictures so I'm going to scroll down and look this one here has the title at the top a box for some writing and two what they call content boxes so let's just click that and you can see this changes straight away now what should I do for this one I don't know what about my hobbies uh, my hobbies are keep it clean um, I like basketball and I like cycling and I like computer games okay done now that would work you know don't really need to do anything else but I want to make it more interesting visually which is the whole point of PowerPoint so I'm going to add some pictures don't need a picture on the front cover but the second slide wouldn't it be nice if there was a picture say of my family there so all I've got to do is go to insert picture from file and find a picture what about I know I've got a good one here somewhere hmm not that one what about that one so there's the picture and you can see it's massive and it's much too big so what I need to do is I need to grab the corner and resize the picture and then move it back over there we are look that fits nicely it's very important when you're resizing pictures that you don't grab the edges because then that can happen which is a bit silly um, I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller um, there's a rule in um, design that diagonal is best so I'm gonna grab this little green handle here just give it a little twist there we are nice okay that looks more nicer I, I don't I don't really know what's going on in this photo I think I've I'm in trouble maybe I've weed on the toilet seat or something I don't know anyway let's move on hobbies so I need a picture in here of some hobbies so basketball cycling computer games so what I'm gonna do is click on these buttons here that one is insert table no chart no clip art no diagram media clip so that's movies or sound don't want that today insert picture and straight away it goes to my pictures so in this folder look 
there's me with my bike as a kid. Oh, look at that. It's resized the picture for me. Because I put it into one of these content boxes, it knows to resize the picture. So I don't have to do that now, which is nice, but I am going to put that little twist on again because I think that looks nicer. Okay, picture number two. Computer games, look, there's a picture of my old Spectrum when I was a kid in my bedroom. Look at those beautiful curtains. Aren't they hideous? So let's go up to this toolbar here, which is called the picture toolbar, which if you don't have it, you can right click and then you can pick picture. Okay, but I've already got that, so that's all right. So with the picture selected, click on the crop button and I can eliminate my hideous curtains and then uncrop just make it a bit bigger and again a little bit of a wiggle and it just overlaps nicely that's good and the third one then basketball now oh, I've got no content box left but that's all right insert picture from file and no basketball there there is skateboarding I was quite awesome at that as a kid uh, basketball basketball there we are There's a couple of things there what about that one insert and because it's not in a content box it's massive again so I just need to resize a bit more and again give him a bit of a wiggle unfortunately Michael Jordan here is now over the top of me and I'm more important so that's no good so let's right click the picture go down to order send to back there we are that's better all right and there we have it we've got our three slides got some good information on there some interesting looking photos and our presentation is on the way in the next video I'll be showing you how to format your slides to make them look more visually appealing and in the final video we might get onto some animations okay that's it thanks for listening bye bye